All right. Next up, we've got Nick. Is it Verduci? I could be saying that wrong. He's a level designer, as you can see by his portfolio. So it's really interesting. I haven't looked at very many level designer portfolios, um, but this is cool. Like let's, let's look through, let's look through a few of them. There's a lot here. Early work studio. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, dude, this guy, dude, he's living it. He's in the dream. Look at him. That smile tells you everything. Um, I will post this in chat. No problem, Arkham. Hopefully you find it helpful. Helpful, dude, I think it's the tool's awesome. So, Nick, buddy, this is cool. Let's uh, let's go through some of these. So Unreal Engine. Uh, let's see here. Roll level sketch, block out scripting, game rolls and spawns. Medium size King of the Hill type map with eight players must defend a central point from waves of enemy AI. So like a horde mode, if you will. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so it's interesting because holding the center point becomes very intriguing just by the fact that like you have high ground here, high ground back here, and then you have like dominance in these areas just because they're either on your level or lower. You think about vantage point, right? So like if the player is up high, they have control over everything. So I anticipate if you were to have eight players playing this, you'd have like a handful in the middle and then you'd have a couple over here on the high ground trying to like stop people from getting to the, stopping AI from getting to the center. This high position is very, um, yeah, I'd want to control that. That's interesting. The crane's also nice be just because it gives, um, it gives players like a, a direction, directional understanding. That's the other benefit of this, right? By this being high and this being here and this different from back here, players naturally will just have a compass. So like if they're like getting shot at, a friend can say that, oh, he's, he's by the crane and everyone can look that way knowing where that's at or he's by the, he's by the building or they're on the high ground. It's like getting those, those key named locations, right? Like players naturally just start calling it that. It sounds really uh, basic and generic, but keeping it simple allows for um, the gameplay to shine through and not like get in the way uh, and the environment not getting in the way of that, right? Oh yeah, dude, this is nice. This is a nice presentation. Am I okay? I hope so. I am, I am, I am well. <laughs> How are you? Oh yeah, okay. Dude, this is great, man. No donation alert. Oh man, you gave me five bucks. Thanks, man. Why didn't it alert? Here, look, guys. Thanks, dude. The concern. It's okay. It's okay to be concerned. It also could just be a European thing. You all right? Just saying, what's up? Took me a while to get used to that. This is this presentation is awesome. It's weird that you've drawn on the map or on the image with the numbers and then done, done the numbers on top. But this is this is great stuff. Let's let's look at this one. So lumber. So this one's much more in the direction that I usually see like level design layout stuff. Just cuz like the shapes are like okay, 
this is like you can hide against this you can hide against this one but it's low cover um you can line of sight standing here pointing this direction these look like they allow you to climb up onto the top medium size symmetrical level set in a lumber yard Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> the notification bot is also tired. It's Friday. Yeah, see, this stuff is really nice. Man, I don't I don't have too much to say on it. It's it's more about like I mean, it seems like you're hitting on them on the on the beats. Tobias, what's up, man? So like seeing this I can already visualize what I would do 3D wise to make it look like a, a lumber yard. So just by the fact that the name and the shapes are, are selling it, then it's more about like, like where the players get channeled, right? So like, if you look here, like you're thinking about that players start on both sides, they can go this way. They get an interior route. They go down the center here. And then I guess this, this, uh, this one down here is high ground. Let me see here. Yeah, this is solid, man. See, you're thinking in really like simple pathing concepts. Lumberyard, you thought I was talking about the game engine? No, man, it's Lumberyard. It's a it's a lumber mill. How about that? It's a lumber mill. So like if you had to have wood uh that goes off like a belt here into a truck, Maybe um, here you would have like uh, tire marks in the in the dirt or mud to show that trucks pull up to that and then wood comes through here to make this interesting but still flat from a gameplay standpoint because like obviously level designers, they need you to be able to run up and down this. It looks like you can hide or cover on both sides of this or it's, you're just protected. So in this area, you have to keep that pretty flat. So maybe like the little like slit lines where uh, cutting blades can be. And then if there is any propping on this, it's going to be like um, tree trunks or, or yeah, tree trunks that have been shaved down the sides. And then that the blade has cut them down the center and then they fall into the sides. Right. So it's still flat on the top, but it's also telling a story and help like uh, push the look of the space in the direction of the title. So it's thinking about how do you build art that supports these shapes while also pushing the visual fidelity and making it look like the, uh, the space that you're in. I love this one just because like, I imagine you come around the corner and you have the options. Like you see like, okay, I can go inside. Um, I can go to here and then check around the corner here. The angles of this are really nice. They just flow the player forward or there's like going around. Dude, sniper spot, sniper spot. Anywho, I have to, I have to keep going, but this stuff is, is great. Man, you even have some with, with, with the ops in it. Using a, the radiant engine. This is awesome. I love that you draw this stuff out. I think I'm going to show some friends at work this. Because this, in my opinion, is this probably the benchmark for what a level design portfolio should look like. I could be wrong. They're going to tell me. But yeah, this is cool. Oh yeah, this is solid. I would suggest maybe in this one that these dots need to be lighter just because this is a, a darker image. Bird programming, bird programming, dude, I love it. Okay, I've got to get out of here. I'm gonna go and we're gonna look at the Discord critiques next for the next hour. So uh, dude, nice portfolio, Nick. Super, super strong. You can program birds, dude.
Yeah. <laughs> All right, be right back. 